Hello and welcome. I'm Michelle with Phoenix Flow Art. So I just really want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I am less than 200 subscribers away from meeting my first goal of getting a thousand subscribers. So I greatly appreciate that. I could not have done that without you, your support, you taking the time to watch these videos. So I truly appreciate that. Um, like I said, my first goal is to get a thousand subscribers. So um, I'm less than 200 subscribers away from that. So that means a great deal to me. So thank you. So the month of August, I wanted to do a new pour every week. I traditionally do Dutch pours. So this month I'm not going to do any Dutch pours. The first week I did a dip and this week I'm going to attempt to do a string pull of a feather. I've seen other people do them. They look really fragile and and nice so I really want to try it so let's watch what happens so when you do a string pull you, your paint has to be thin um, so I put a base coat of white on my canvas and now I'm dripping off or attempting to drip off the excess paint so I can get a thin coat After I torched it, um, I'm laying out my strings. I already cut them. I cut my strings just slightly larger than the canvas, but you decide um, the length that you want your feather to be. So I have a cardboard piece of paper. So I laid my strings on the cardboard and now I am um, putting paint on the strings, basically saturating the the strings that I already cut with paint. The first color I put on was gold. This is an olive green. And then I'm gonna put another gold on. The next color I'm gonna use is called Opal Fire. And it looks like a copper, but it dries like a light red or a reddish color. And then I'm gonna put gold on again. So basically I'm alternating gold between the green and the opal color. Make sure your strings are nice and saturated with paint. Back to the olive, then the gold. Now I'm just making sure the entire thread or string is covered top and bottom. Leave one end of the string with no paint on it so you can maneuver it on your canvas. Lay the string down and then pull the string up. Pull it up faster than I did. You'll see why in a minute. My white 
white base is still too thick because the paint wants to run over it. So I'm tilting it up so it doesn't run over the stray. So again, you have to have a thin, thin coat. My coat was not thin enough. But because I pulled the string slowly, it created a line, which I didn't like at all on the outside of the feather. Wasn't happy with that one. But we're learning here. So I'm gonna take the other string and hopefully, well I already know the answer to the question, do a better job at that other side of that feather. Pulled up a lot faster, didn't have the same issue. Looks a lot better. So I decided to saturate the string again and see what happens if I pull it again on the same side twice. happy with the very tip of that um, or the end of that feather those two white blobs where all the white paint because it was too thin um, pulled so I'm going to try to just do the string pull in that area like what you what you've done thus far you can go ahead and create the center you can either use the string and pull it directly down to create the center stem or in my case I just used a popsicle stick to create it thought that would be safer since this is new to me for the most part and voila so I think it was a decent try um, I will be working on my technique but it wasn't too bad it was fun and here's the dried result Phoenix flow art creating is what we do <laughs> <laughs>